are mixing live technology, um, media rich technology with singers who are singing with a world class symphony orchestra and in front of your eyes this very high definition camera work will in front of your eyes turn this opera singer into a tree. I wanted this to be like a, we, we are a group of children because the opera opens with the story saying, the storyteller saying, children, I want to tell you a story. And through the, using the chorus who turn at that point, and a symphony orchestra of course aren't used to doing movement, but this group are because they've worked with me for six years now. So I want to engage the audience, pull them in and listen to the storyteller and use the chorus, like a Greek chorus, to react to the shame, the, the joy that's going on on stage. And this immersive experience of the, of the screens and then at the end throwing confetti over the audience to make them part of it. Is, uh, I want it to be an immersive experience, not just uh, an oral experience, an auditory experience, but a visual feast for the eyes to match this extraordinary score and this brilliant playing by this orchestra. I set this company up, Symphony 5.0, or 5.0, in uh, March of this year, and this is the first orchestra to engage uh, with us contractually. Younger audiences need something visual to engage their interests. We don't need to overwhelm them, but something, just something rather than just suits, playing. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that, but we're in 2012 and it's time to add something, something new. Several challenges. One's technological um, to make it happen uh, when we need lots of lighting for the orchestra to read their scores. So that lighting in itself can b blow away the high resolution graphics. So we've found that balance. Second is time, and third is money. It is an expensive tool for an orchestra. Hence, we're trying to look at different orchestras and say, would you like to run a co production? So if you all put X, Y, or Z into the kitty, whoever puts the biggest piece of equity in can perhaps get the first premier, or just if everybody puts the same amount of money in, we run it over a season or two or three. Or, but once this is, it's like scenery, it goes into storage and it can be held until the next performance is requested and it's easier to store. One of my dreams for coming back to the Atlanta Symphony is to uh, take the concerts outside and have them on the walls of the, the auditorium or the, Heinz, uh, the, the High Art Museum or to the park. We could relay them like the Royal Opera House relays them outside. So, and, and, but to pixelate the building and use the building and shape the building. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the aims that we have with Symphony 5.